let's discuss the extraction of aluminium metal so we'll just summarize the extraction of aluminium first we have oxide ore that is al2o3 dot 3h2o this is the bauxite ore okay this is impure so first we need to purify that ore and that process is known as Bayer's process in which this bauxite ore is treated with hot concentrated hot and concentrated sodium hydroxide okay sodium hydroxide is a base and this aluminium oxide that is alumina is amphoteric oxide amphoteric oxide so it will react with the base and in hot concentrated sodium hydroxide this is soluble so it forms sodium meta aluminate NaAlO2 or you can say NaAloH whole 4 this is the product that will get okay that is soluble so we'll get aqueous solution of that now this alumina is soluble only when the sodium hydroxide is concentrated when we make it dilute or when we decrease the basic strength or decrease the pH okay by passing bubbles of CO2 gas because CO2 gas is acidic in nature so when we'll pass the bubbles of CO2 gas in that then the pH will decrease pH will go to acidic side then alumina will be no longer soluble in sodium hydroxide so it will get precipitate out in the form of aluminium hydroxide okay that is white gelatinous precipitate okay when we heat it further will get alumina that is pure alumina that is pure alumina so from impure bauxite ore to the production of pure alumina the whole process is known as Bayer's process okay after that we have hall herald process that is hall herald process okay in that we'll do the electrolysis of alumina by mixing cryolite in them that is Na3AlF6 and fluorospar that is Cf2 this decreases the melting point of alumina and increases the conductivity so alumina is basically Al3 plus and oxide ion is there so at cathode we'll get reduction of aluminium 3 plus to form aluminium metal and at anode this oxide ion will get oxidized to O2 and giving 4 electron so this is the product of hall herald process will get molten aluminium and oxygen gas anode is made up of graphite rod so graphite is basically carbon so this oxygen that is liberated at anode will react with this carbon to form CO or CO2 so CO or CO2 gas will be produced and this graphite rod will burn so time to time we have to replace this graphite rod okay so approximately for 1 kg of aluminium production half kg of graphite rod is consumed so this is up to production of aluminium and then we have hoops process hoops process that is the electrolysis electrolytic refining basically that is the electrolytic refining that produces pure aluminium so Beer's process is basically 
purification of alumina Beer process produces pure alumina that is Cl2O3 Hall Herold process produces impure aluminum metal and Hoops process produces pure aluminum that's all thank you